What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, today we have another sauce review. This is what I've had on the shelf for over a year. As you can see, it was manufactured July 14th of 2020 and expires July of 2022. <laughs> so I figured I'd better review it here before it expires. Not that it's going to hurt it, but you know, still. But this is imported and distributed by the Fig Brother Brands in Irving, Texas, and is a product of Columbia. And this is Ass in the Tub Ghost Pepper Sauce. I mean, that is a cool label. I love it. It says, guaranteed to burn twice, over 1 million Scoville units of ghoulish heat. We'll see. So the little read up on the side here <clears throat> says, "Legend ha ass in the tub ghost pepper sauce. Legend has it that the ghost pepper or boot jalokia is named so because it is so hot that your spirit or ghost leaves your body when you eat it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nothing says yeah, right. Not me saying that. Well, just ask Joe Chillyhead about his encounter with this paranormal pod. He can attest to such a phenomenon. Excuse me. At over 1 million Scoville units, acid the tub ghost pepper sauce is guaranteed to burn twice. Collect all of Joe Chilihead sauces, assinthetub.com. There you go. And now this guy wants to cut grass while I'm doing a video. Anyway. Excuse me. Well, you're right into the ingredients. They are. Boot, Jalokia peppers, carrots, papayas, lime juice vinegar, onions, passion fruit, citric acid, garlic, and salt. <laughs> excuse me. So, <laughs> oh, excuse me. No perforation on the lay on the seal. I could restart this video, but I'm not. But anyway, here's your consistency. Little on a touch on the thicker side. And um, pop his top. The flow restrictor. Can't have that. Don't try that at home, kids. Alright, just something good again. <clears throat> now the smell test. Whew. Smells like ghost pepper, carrots, lime, and onion. Bam. And garlic. Anyway, let this guy know I'm doing a hot sauce review. Anyway, Steve Gillespie, show the label when you're bored. Oh. And uh, yeah, here we go. Hopefully my ass isn't in the tub, but it's ass in the tub ghost pepper sauce. Here we go. My bottle. That's good. Mm. That's spicy. Real spicy. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to tell you what that tastes like. I know who makes that sauce. I already know who makes this sauce. One, I can tell by how the date is sprayed on the label, on the bottle here. But I can also tell by this, it says FDA FCE 28909. I know who makes this. Especially since it's a product of Columbia. Melinda's makes this sauce. This tastes just like Melinda's ghost pepper sauce. I know, I know this is Melinda's. 
just like it. Touch on the salty side, not salty, but yeah, product of Columbia. But that number, that is that is Melinda's date. If you have a bottle of Melinda's at home, look at the date how it's sprayed on the bottle. Mint Melinda's makes that. That's hot though. My lips are on fire. That's a solid three, maybe three and a half. <clears throat> I get the pepper, I get the, the onion, the garlic, a little bit of the salt. A little too much salt for me, but it's not salty, if that makes sense. And the carrot, touch of the lime juice. Not bad, like I say, he's a solid three, three and a half. Um, flavor? I'm going to go five and a half out of ten. I like more than just straight pepper flavor in my sauces, and that's what this is. So, it's good. I, I wouldn't buy it again, but if you like a straightforward ghost pepper sauce, here you go. So, ass in the tub, ghost pepper sauce. It's got a nice heat to it, and it, it, it's good, but I like a little bit more than just a pepper flavor, but <clears throat> it's not bad. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time.